The scripture says, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, he knows those that are his. What is the foundation of God? There is this chief cornerstone which has been rejected of men. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus said to Peter, upon this rock, I shall build my church, and, the, and uh, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What he was saying was this. Prior to that verse, you know that the Catholic Church took that to mean that Peter was the apostle and that from Peter we're going to build the church, right? So the, the Catholic Church took that to mean that Peter was the rock. But Jesus asked Peter a question prior to that scripture. He said to Peter, who do men say that I am? Peter responded, some say that you're Elijah, some say you're this, and some say you're that. But Jesus said to Peter, who do you say that I am? Peter's response says, thou art the Christ, the son of the only living God, right? And Jesus' response to him said, you have said right. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. Which means Peter had received a revelation of Jesus. Jesus' response was, upon this rock. Not Peter, but the revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus is the rock. And upon this revelation, I'm going to build my church. That Jesus is the Christ. Hallelujah. There is this revelation. And he says, the foundation of God stand assured. The foundation, another scripture tells us, is Jesus. He's the foundation. Amen? And it says that if the foundation has been laid, that there is no other foundation but that which has been laid. And the scripture says, if the foundations be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Why? Because there is no righteousness in us in and of ourselves. All of our righteousness is as filthy rags. But Jesus Christ became our righteousness for us. The gates of hell are constantly trying to take away from the revelation of Jesus. They're constantly trying to give you a new revelation that never existed before. Always trying to tell you another gospel. Wow. Scripture says there are certain men that have crept in unaware, ordained of old. They've crept in unaware. Scripture says that Jesus is the gate. He's the door. If any man comes any other way, he's a thief and a robber. If you didn't come through Jesus, if you ain't born again, if you haven't caught, crossed from death to life, you are none of his. You're a thief and you're a robber. You know, they, they're teaching this inclusion gospel now. And they're teaching people. One of, Carlton Pearson is one of the head people teaching it. And they're saying that there is no such thing as hell. That hell is more so what we experience here on earth. And that Jesus Christ is not so much a person as much as he is a state of consciousness. That he is a state of awakening. And, and that all of us are on this journey to achieve Jesus consciousness. Yeah. And it's a lie. From the pit. And you got people like Oprah. I know somebody don't like me. But people like Oprah telling you that there are many ways to God. You might call him Buddha. You might call him Muhammad. You might call him Jesus. But either way, we're all getting there. No, 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 no. If you come any other way, you're a thief and a robber. If you did not, listen, you can, there's no such thing as this, you know, unity of religions. You will never see something be set up in this church where we call together the Muslims and call together the Hindus and we're all going to have a, a Unitarian prayer service. The only kind of prayer service Unitarian we have up in here is get delivered from your false God. Now we will follow peace with all men, but we will not cry peace, peace when there is no peace. We will not put Jesus on the same level as, he, as Krishna and Muhammad and Buddha. No, no. He stands far above the rest. You can't put Jesus with everybody else because they are dead and he's yet alive. Yeah. Hallelujah.